Right, so today's topic I want to talk about is the importance of educators. All of you who are educators and dealing with young children, I want you guys to realize how important what you guys are doing are, is, is one of the greatest things. I know sometimes you don't feel the appreciation for it, but think about this. You have a child with you for seven to eight hours a day in 24 hours. If a child goes to sleep for eight to 10 hours, right there are 17 hours are taken away. By the time they go to school, come back from school, say half an hour to an hour, that's about 18 hours. Then they might play uh, for another hour or two on the, uh, online or videos, which is already like three to four hours. So that even take that say conservative number, two more, that's about 20 hours, right? 19 to 20 hours. Then uh, doing their homework might be another hour, 21, 22. So really they don't have that much time physically with their parents where they're having these huge conversations. A lot of their exposure is at the school. And one of the biggest role models are adults that they're gonna see are you educators. So it's so important to kind of keep in mind that you guys have such a powerful impact on these young lives. And I want you to realize that from a quote, 100 years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, the type of house I lived in, or the kind of car I drove, but the world may be different because I was important in the, in the life of a child. And that is important, that you are in an individual who has changed a child's life forever, and you'll see some Chinese proverbs at the end, which I'm gonna go ahead and share. But let's think about this. When is just your educator? You're teaching me the ABCs and the one, two, threes, and, and at whatever level from the element, early child to elementary, middle school, to high school, even college level. You are educating individuals throughout. So that is one. But when you're educating, the second thing you have to do is motivate these individuals. You have to motivate them to keep striving to do their best, right? You don't want them just to be average. You want them to be above average, right? If they're above average, you want to go to make them excellent. If they're struggling, you want to get them up to average level. From average level to above average. At every point they are at at that age or that level or that grade, you want to increase that and make them a better individual. So now, not an educator, but also a matter a motivator. Number three, you are also an entertainer because you're trying to keep their attention. When a child right now, an average child's attention span is only two to three minutes, and especially now with the video games and uh, uh, Snapchats and all these different Instagrams and, and stimulation that they get from video games and social media, to keep their attention is not easy. So you have to keep almost like an entertainer to keep their attention as you're trying to motivate them so you can educate them. Number four, as you're going through these challenges, motivation, sometimes you find out the reason they're not motivated is because they got some issues. So sometimes you're a counselor. You are trying to listen to them, make them under, you know, uh, be there for them, be that ear, but at the same time try to help them go to the right person for that support, or you might be the individual that support and that words that you could do to change their lives. Number five, at the end, then you also sometimes have to just be the disciplinarian to make sure that they have that structure in, in their lives and understand that there are limitations to what and the way they act and behave and follow the guidelines of the school or of your classroom, right? Number six, then sometimes in that disciplinarian that when you, you have a situation, you're also mediator. You're trying to make sometimes to rectify two individuals, two students' lives where they're not getting along and you're trying to be there to kind of help uh, men's those pro issues and sometimes they have those dramas where they're like well you're, she's not my friend I thought she was my friend and you're trying to realize they've been friends for so many years but that one thing almost causes like this big uproar in the classroom and maybe even the whole school or maybe on social media so you being that mediator is so important also uh, that keeps in mind then you also have some individuals it's not that emotional toll it could be an injury and you are almost the nurse Right, some schools have nurses, some don't, but even there, the kids sometimes, it's like, you know, I'm feeling hurt, what can you do, you know, you giving them that Band-Aid, or you giving them that pep talk, or you that they go down to the nurse, and the nurse say, hey, you know, it's, I don't think it's that much, and you're trying to find out, like, okay, really, are you sick? Is there something going on? You're trying to figure out if it's a friend, is it home, is it school, it's academics. So you are also that medical uh, doctor, nurse, so that is something else that you're kind of uh, in charge of. Then you are also a team player. You're trying to make sure that these kids, uh, are as, a t uh, as an educator, working with edu educators to work together to make sure this child is successful, right? Sometimes it could be with a fellow colleague from a different subject matter. It could be a, a specialist, right? A reading specialist, math specialist, a counselor, the administrator, whoever that is, that, 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 that TA. 
that you are working with someone else so that you could be successful as you as an educator, but that other individual that you're trying to teach. So that by itself is something important. The other thing that you are, are, you are also a learner. So when you are making sure that you educate, motivate, entertain, counsel, discipline, mediate, nurse, team player, you are also learning all these traits. You are constantly becoming a student, professional development, learning different things like right now what you are listening to. That is a way for you to keep on getting some more skills so you could be a better person, be a better educator. Uh, and, and be that individual that could facilitate that information in the proper way so they could be successful individuals uh, uh, and, and productive citizens. So that is something that kind of has that. And lastly, yes, you're the educator one. Number two, you're the motivator. Number three, you're the entertainer. Entertainer. Number four, you're the counselor. Number five, you're the disciplinarian. Number six, you're the mediator. Number seven, you're the nurse. Number eight, you're the team player. Number nine, you're the learner. And the last one, you're the second parent for many of these children. Or even, you might be the parent for them. Some of them, you might be that father figure because they don't have a father in their lives. Or they might be a mother figure because they don't have a mother in life. Or they, they have them in their lives, but they're not close to them. So this is something that it also could be tough and stressful. But I want you to realize that these are the skill sets of an educator. And then when you realize what you are doing in every day and at the end of the year, when you get that note or that one thank you, it only could make you feel better of who you are because you are putting so much other impacts in their lives. And that's why you want to be thankful. And that's in this Chinese proverb I want to end with, is civilization flourishes when people plant trees under which they never sit. Some of you in first, second grade, maybe when they go on, you'll never know what happens when they're in middle school or high school. But some of them might come back, some you might hear in a newspaper, some you might never know. But that child knows that one thing that you might have done that made them click into being that successful individual. It could be a word, it could be something not saying anything, it just could be just that physical uh, presence that you did or that smile that you gave them. And I want you to realize that. And that's the greatness of being an educator. And then the other aspect of this is that a child's life is like a piece of paper on which everyone who passes by leaves an impression. And all of you have put a little impression on that canvas. And hopefully with all you educators who have worked together, maybe in elementary school or middle school, later on you could see that amazing painting and hopefully you get that opportunity to see that amazing painting. And it might be physically they come back and see you, or you might hear a story about them, or you might see them on the newspaper, or you might see them on social media, you might see them on TV. But at least you know you made that effort, and that's why we do what we do, and that's why you educators are the best. And you need to make sure that you remember that, the importance of you as these role models, and these, these great individuals for these children. Great job, keep it up you educators. That's why I love this job and hopefully all of you keep on staying positive and do what you guys are doing. Thank you, take care.